Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've actually done a meal prep for you guys. This week's meal prep is going to revolve around weight loss because I am 10 pounds down since a couple months ago, which I'm so excited about. So to celebrate that, I'm gonna share a weekly meal prep that I've been doing to help you all. The meal prep is going to include breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's going to be for five days only, which is your typical work week. So it's perfect to bring to work. You don't have to freeze any of it. Just throw it in the refrigerator and then microwave and you're ready. I'll walk you through the steps of how to make everything. And if there's something that you don't like, feel free to substitute. I'm going to be doing more of these videos so you can interchange the meals if you want. Also, be sure to click the link inside this box for the full blog on this so you can see all the recipes written out. Um, very easy for you to just see and go shopping. Speaking of shopping, I'm also including a grocery list for you on the blog. So in the description box, click on the blog link and you will see all this information already ready to go and written down for you. But for now, let's make some breakfast. For breakfast, I'm gonna make my healthy egg muffin cups with strawberries. They are delicious and fast. First, you're going to go ahead and fry your sausage. If you don't like pork sausage, you may use turkey sausage for a leaner option. So you're just gonna go ahead and break it up into little pieces and you're going to fry it until it's browned and not pink throughout. Next, you're gonna chop your produce. You're gonna take your red bell pepper, slice off the top, switch it around. You're gonna slice off the bottom, which is my favorite way of opening a bell pepper. So after you slice off the top and bottom, you're gonna open it, slice it open, and then you're gonna de-seed it and take out the ribs as well. And then when you're done doing that, you're going to dice the red pepper into little bitty pieces. You're only gonna use one fourth cup for this recipe, but you're more than welcome to use a little bit more if you'd like. Next, you're gonna get three fourth cup of spinach out, baby spinach at that. You're going to chop it into little bitty pieces. Three fourth cup is just enough for this recipe. Again, if you want more spinach, go right on ahead. I won't judge ya. Let's get cracking. You're going to crack six eggs in a mixing bowl. And when you're done cracking your eggs and adding them to the bowl, you're going to add one fourth cup of almond milk. Then you're going to whisk it. Whisk it until it's all good. And when you're done whisking, you can add your salt, pepper, and if you want, you can also add garlic powder for a little more flavor. Time to make the cups. I usually like to start off with spinach as my bottom layer. It really does not matter how you go or how you make this, honestly, as long as you save the egg for last. So you're just gonna fill up just a wee bit on the bottom just to cover up the bottom. And then when you're done with that, you're going to add your red pepper. Again, just putting a little bit, about a teaspoon of red pepper into each little cup. Again, you don't have to measure. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you save some room for the sausage and the egg, which will come next. By now, your sausage should be cooled off. You can go ahead and put about a tablespoon or so into each cup until all of them are filled. Again, you want to leave a little space for the egg because that is the most important part. And then you're gonna go ahead and pour just a little bit of egg mixture into each until the tops are covered. You're going to pop them into a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. Go ahead and use a toothpick when it's almost done to judge how much longer is needed. And there you have it. They will rise up a little bit, but they look oh so delicious. So you can go ahead, set them aside to cool so we can meal prep them. And when they are cooled off in about 15 minutes or so, you can use a spatula of some sort and just gently pop them out of each little hole. And I usually like to put two per, per container. You will have a couple left over, which you can eat as a snack or save for someone else later on. And then you can add two or three strawberries per container. Or you can add another type of fruit. 
and then you just put the lids on and place them in your refrigerator and you are good to go for breakfast. For lunch, I'm prepping my tuna and egg salad lettuce wraps with carrots on the side. You're gonna start by putting six or so ounces of tuna into a mixing bowl. You're gonna add about half a cup of mayo or mayonnaise, whatever, into the bowl. I personally don't use measuring cups very often. I just kinda wing it, so if you wanna wing it, that's totally fine as well. You can't really go wrong here. You're gonna use one fourth cup of Dijon mustard. If you're not a fan of Dijon, don't worry, you can use regular mustard as well. So you're gonna chop up a red onion. You're only gonna use one fourth of this onion. So go ahead, chop it in half again, and then slice that one fourth, and then you're just gonna chop it up into little pieces, and that will go into your salad. All right, so once your water is boiling, you're going to add six eggs. I'm actually going to be adding more because I'm making my son eggs for the morning. He loves boiled eggs. So disregard the other six. You are only gonna use six for this recipe, unless you wanna make more. That's perfectly fine. Now you're gonna go ahead and chop up two pickle spears and dice them into little pieces. That's gonna go with the onion. Gives it a little bit of a crunch and more flavor. All right, so I've got all my eggs cooled off. By the way, 12 minutes is for the perfect egg. Go ahead, throw the eggs you're gonna use into the mixture using a fork or a whisk, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and mash everything together. If it's a little dry, feel free to add more mayo. All right, I'm gonna use some garlic powder. Going ahead, giving it flavor. I'm gonna use black powder. And then lastly, I'm going to use sea salt. And then you're just gonna season it to taste. And you're gonna give it a good stir. Now I'm gonna get my romaine lettuce, chopping off the bottom. I'm gonna chop this in half. Personally, I like the leafier part better. Some might like the crunchier part. To each their own, you can use either one. I personally like the leaves. And that's what I'm going to use. All right, so I'm gonna take my leaves. I'm gonna lay them in my meal prep bowl. As you can see, they're perfect for wrapping. And what you're gonna do is, you're going to get a piece whenever you're ready, and you can take a spoon or whatnot, grab a tablespoon or two, and just put it on your leaf and wrap it up. So very simple to eat. And then in your other sections, you're gonna go ahead and scoop your tuna egg salad. I'm going to add a few carrot sticks to each one. If you're not worried about avoiding grains, I think that crackers would be a better fit. I like to use a little ranch with my carrot sticks whenever I eat each meal, just something yummy. And then you're just gonna pack them to go a great grain-free, gluten-free, dairy-free lunch right there. So for dinner, I prepped shrimp and asparagus stir fry with cauliflower rice. You're gonna go ahead and set your shrimp aside in the bowl, and you're going to mince or grate four cloves of garlic, and you're gonna put that garlic along with olive oil into the mixing bowl with the shrimp. You're gonna season it with salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes for a little kick and spice. I love red pepper on shrimp. You're gonna give it a good stir and you're gonna set it aside and allow it to marinate for a little bit while you cut the asparagus. All right, so trim your asparagus. You wanna cut off all the tough white parts, so about a couple inches at the bottom. All right, and now you're going to cut that into two pieces. So you're gonna like basically cut two inches until you have little pieces of asparagus. All right, I'm gonna cut my shallot in half. I'm gonna peel it, then I'm gonna slice it, and then I'm gonna dice it into little pieces because you're actually gonna use the shallot to cook with the asparagus. Gonna put a little olive oil into a skillet on medium high heat. 
you're going to add your asparagus and your shallot. And you're gonna stir fry that for about five minutes or so until the asparagus starts becoming a little tender. Now I'm going to zest my lemon. I'm, I like using this little grater for everything. It's so handy. I've linked it into my blog. You can find that in my description box. And now I'm gonna chop that in half and I'm gonna juice it. I've linked my juicer as well. So I'm gonna juice both halves of the lemon. You're gonna pop a bag of cauliflower rice into the microwave for four minutes. And while that is cooking, you're gonna put your shrimp with the shallot and the asparagus. And you're gonna go ahead and cook through in the skillet. You want to cook until the shrimp are pink, but first you're going to add your lemon juice. And then you're going to add your lemon zest, about a teaspoon. You're gonna salt it. And then you're going to use black pepper And if you really want to kick it up a notch, use more red pepper flakes. And then give it a good stir until it finished cooking. All right, now you're going to spoon your cauliflower rice into one section of your milk prep bowl. And then you're going to spoon the stir-fry mixture into the other section. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you are wanting more carbs and you don't care about going grain-free, feel free to use regular rice. You can even use pasta as well. And there you have it. This is all grain-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. And you're gonna go ahead and just finish out your containers and put everything into the fridge and you're good to go for the week. So I hope you all enjoyed this meal prep video. If you would like to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment below and let me know if you would like for me to do this again. Thank you all.